Well, switching gears now to a weather check because look at this photo. This was actually a rainbow that I took outside of our studio today. Uh, we sit right off of Pelham Road and um, that was a small rainbow you see yes. back there. <laughs> Mark, Good it catch. was just such a uh, an interesting day. I know we kind of talked about it where some of us saw sunshine while at the same time we saw rain. Uh, we're still going to see a little bit of rain. It looks like behind you tonight. Yeah. So yeah, the rain has not died down completely. And in fact, as we go through the remainder of the overnight, we'll continue to see some showers around uh, toward the early part of the morning. Most of the rain, if not all of it will be gone, but then we'll have some patchy fog around. But we've continued to see showers and thunderstorms firing up this evening across western the Western Carolinas. And in fact, we've got some Thunderstorms right now over Clemson, over into Oconee and Pickens County. You see the shower and thunderstorm activity here back to Walhalla and then over to Tallulah Falls with the shower and thunderstorm activity continuing to move up to the north at the present time and up into western North Carolina, Transylvania County getting wet with some showers and thunderstorms. A little thunder and lightning over Pisgah Forest there and western North Carolina and the Transylvania area, Transylvania County area, and then also Asheville getting some shower activity up to Flat Creek over to Hot Springs. You've got a thunderstorm now and we will continue to see the shower activity around overnight tonight and those temperatures not dropping too much from where they are right now. We're at 72 degrees in Spartanburg and Greenville, 68 in Hendersonville, 64 in Waynesville. Asheville is at 68 degrees. Up in Bakersfield, you're at 64 degrees. Our weather headlines will continue to see some scattered showers and a few thunderstorms tonight. Some producing some locally heavy rains and maybe a little gusty winds. Not expecting really severe weather out of this uh, rain and thunderstorm activity overnight tonight. But as we go through the day tomorrow, more of the same across the area. A few isolated thunderstorms could again produce that locally heavy rain around. But hold on because fall like feeling weather is going to come as we go into the second half of the upcoming work week. We're still tracking the tropics. This is uh, Hurricane Lee you see out in the Atlantic north of the islands there. Still a powerful storm. Uh, we'll get an update after 11 o'clock, but we're still got it at a category three storm right now. It is moving to the west northwest around 10 miles per hour as of the latest advisory and the latest advisory had it at 115 mile per hour winds. The forecast track uh, moves it to the west northwest and then eventually curving up to the north and it actually strengthens as we go into the early part of the week going back to a category four storm thankfully staying well to the east of the Bahamas and hopefully staying well to the west of Bermuda, but also staying off the mainland of the US. As it does look right now, the forecast continues with the spaghetti models going, taking it further to the north and away from the US and actually wait away from most of Canada. But we'll continue to watch this over the next uh, week or so before it actually moves away from the US and the continent. 66 degrees overnight tonight with spotty showers and a few thunderstorms. The mountains more of the same. You'll drop down to 61. All of us will see some patchy fog. And as we go through the day tomorrow, we'll see a mixture of clouds and sunshine. And in the morning, late morning, some scattered showers starting to pop up in the mountains. They get more organized and move into the upstate as we go through the afternoon hours. Then they die down tomorrow night. And again on Monday, we'll see a slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm. Uh, but most of us will be dry. Most of the shower activity, it looks like, will be in the mountains. For our Sunday, high temperatures in the lower 80s with scattered showers and thunderstorms in the upstate and the mountains, you'll make it up into the upper 70s. Here's what it looks like for the next seven days. And look at that latter half of the week. Fall like weather is on the way, so hold out for that. 82 degrees on Sunday, middle 80s. We do warm up before then. Middle 80s early Monday and Tuesday. And then we'll see that scattered shower activity move out and drier weather coming in for the latter half half of the week with those temperatures highs in the 70s and lows in the upper 50s. The mountains will see temperatures in the 70s tomorrow, upper 70s, lower 80s Monday and Tuesday, scattered showers and thunderstorms. And then that fall like weather returns to the mountains as well. It's mid 70s for highs and lows in the lower 50s. So it's going to taste a little like fall as far as our weather goes as we go into the second half of the weekend.